Okay, so we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video with the curved stairs. Because I've had a lot of questions also about, well, what do we do for a room below the stairs? How do we draw that room below the stairs? And the answer to that is, you really don't have to draw the room below the stairs. You've actually already done it when you have created those stairs. And that's whether it's a straight set of staircases or a curved staircase. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, but you basically do have a room below the stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you in 3D, just so it um, will make a little sense here. And we'll put it in the outline view. But basically, we do have all this area below those stairs is actually already in Xactimate. It's been calculated out. You just need to learn how to utilize that area below the stairs for your calculations. So we'll go back, um, and I'm actually going to leave this in, in outline view right now, which I can toggle back and forth right through here, or the hotkey again, I like to teach hotkeys, is shift O, we'll do your hotkey to go back and forth. So let's go ahead and drop a, a door onto this uh, wall below our stairs right here. Now if you try and do a door, depending on where you put it, it may or may not work, uh, just depending on the height of that door and the height of the stairs and where you put it in. So we'll look at that in 3D view, and yeah, we were able to get that door in there. Um, it's, yes, we can right now, and the reason is we have a solid full wall. And we'll go back here so you can see that. Okay, however, if we wanted to go ahead and take this out, and we're going to change our wall type, and we're going to change that wall type on here instead of a full wall. We're going to say it's missing above the stairs. We'll do the same thing down here. And basically what that means you have drywall from the ground up till you get to the top of your steps. At the top of your steps, then you're going to have basically your handrail from that point above. So we'll look at that in 3D view. So you can see what I'm talking about. Here's your wall that are below your stairs. That's the drywall areas. And here's our handrail. So what you can do is you can go ahead and either put in a door uh, at this point right here. We'll look at it in 3D view, and there's our door. The other way you can do it is we can actually add in doors from 3D view. So if we want to come down here and we'll zoom in a little bit and we say we want to do a door, it will allow me where it fits a door to fit one in. And then I could actually size it up the width I need it to be and so forth underneath here. Okay, so you can actually do doors in 3D mode as well if it's easier to see where you want to put them. Now, obviously here, we're going to go ahead and flip that door out because we don't want to swing it into the closet. We want it swinging outward into the foyer. Okay, so now that we've got our door added into our room below the stairs, the next thing you got to decide is where you're going to put those uh, line entries for that room. Now, the way we have this drawn currently is we have the stairs, and the second set, the curved portion we have is the subroom of the stairs. So when we put our line items in, those line items are going to go under the, the heading in our estimate of stairs. If there was a reason that we didn't want them there and we wanted the line items to be under the foyer and had this basically as a closet to our foyer, then what we would do is make these stairs a subroom of the foyer and then those lines would fall in the foyer. But for the sake of this estimate here, we're just gonna leave the room below the stairs as for our stairs in our estimate tree. So we're gonna to go to our estimate tree, and here's our stairs. And before I start entering in line items, what I like to always do um, when I'm doing a room below the stairs is label it as such in that estimate since it's pretty much a subroom of the stairs is how we're doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a heading up here, and I'm gonna in bold, I'm going to say room beneath the stairs. So that way it's clear in my estimate to anybody that reads it that the following line items are going to be related to what's below that stairs. Okay? So let's say we're going to go ahead and do some ceiling uh, damage. Uh, first thing again, I like to do, I usually break my estimates up. I like to do my ceiling items and my walls and my floors, and I kind of put headings to break out the estimate that way. Some people prefer to do it all just lumped as one group of line items in the estimate. I find this the most efficient way is to go ahead and put a heading in there that kind of breaks out all the line 
time. So we're going to say it's a ceiling. And then we'll start up here and we'll go ahead and add some drywall. So we're going to say there was some drywall um, and we will just go with underneath the stairs. We're not going to go five feet. So we'll just go say one half inch. And we're going to say for the calculation. And if we do C for the calculation, that calculation is going to give us a ceiling of the upper stairs, the area above the stairs. Uh, but if we do C, B, S, ceiling below the stairs, you'll see our quantity has changed right here down to 73.86 feet. So again, above, and that's going to be the flat area up at the ceiling height above the stairs, the ceiling below, which is going to be on a sloped ceiling, it's going to be a great quantity there. So that's our ceiling below the stairs. And then if we wanted to paint that ceiling, or if we needed to go ahead and apply texture or whatever, we do the same thing. We'd say PNT, and let's just say for the sake of here, this area, let's just use ceiling paint. So we're going to do SP. And again, that calculation is CBS for the ceiling below the stairs. So now let's add another attachment here, and we're going to say now for our walls, what do we want to do on our walls? So for our walls, we're going to go ahead and do a drywall repair. Let's just go ahead and do some half inch dry. Um, and we'll go ahead and do it on just 32 square feet. And that's, we don't need to use a, we don't need to use a specific calculation below there since we just want an actual quantity of 32. But if we wanted to do the entire walls, it would be WBS. And so that's what we're going to do here in our painting. We're going to do a little PNT and we're going to just seal and paint all the walls below the stairs. And then let's add some baseboard. So let's go ahead and say we want to do uh, FNC uh, B. We just do a little two and a quarter inch base. And the calculation normally is PF, and that's the perimeter floor of the area above the stairs. But if we want to do the perimeter below the stairs, it's just PBS, and that's the perimeter below the stairs. And then we're going to go ahead and do our paint of that baseboard. And again, that's going to be the perimeter below the stairs. And finally, let's go ahead and do uh, some flooring in here. Okay, and so for our floors, um, let's go ahead and do some carpet in here. So we're going to go ahead and say we want to replace the pad. And we'll do a remove and replace on that. And that is going to be the floors below the stairs. And then finally, we'll do some uh, great carpet we'll put down there. And the calculation here for this, the, the auto calculate is using RPL floor replacement, that's where it does not add 15% waste. That's the one limitation when you're doing an area below the stairs is you cannot use that calculation. So we're just going to say floor below the stairs. And what it's going to do is it's going to add automatic waste to that line item when we go to print. So right now you see two line items for one for carpet, one for pad. We're going to go that we want to print and then I'll cancel that out. But you see it's now broken out. Removal of the carpet, 59.87. And carpet going back is the floor and below the stairs times 15% waste. That's how it broke it out. And it added that note that waste was added to the carpet. So again, to summarize this, the, the calculations for below the stairs will be CBS is ceiling below the stairs. FBS is the floor below the stairs. If you want to add up all the calculations below there, that would be F, W, and C, the floors, walls, and ceilings below the stairs. You have the perimeter of the floor below, which is PBS. If you also have to do the perimeter of the ceiling, maybe you do have some crown molding. Some I know high-end house might want to put in some crown molding below those stairs. Um, that would be PC, perimeter of the ceiling below the stairs. And then you have, again, the walls below the stairs with WBS and just the walls and ceilings only. If you want to maybe put painting the walls and ceilings in one line item, it'd be WCBS. And that's it for this training video. Hope that helped.
We'll see you on the next one. Uh, and if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at Train Pro.